What's poppin' everybody? It's Ono Kage, otherwise known as the King. Now, what I have for you today is part six to what if Naruto and Sasuke were trained by Goku and Vegeta. And this chapter is titled To Confront Destiny. This right here is going to be a chapter to end all chapters. It's going to be long and a mother, mm, a mother mugger to edit. And I just want to cut it and get right into the news. Heart so cold, I think I'm done with ice. Brr. Said I leave her, she gon' die. Well, bitch, you done with life. Okay. Got a shot, it called me Patty, and yeah, she hella right. Uh huh. Freeze, walk up in the club, I got your chicken tice. Uh. Got my ice, said my piece, you know I'm walking nice. Okay. So the we cut into the written exam, which goes much the same, except Naruto is staring at Hinata. She notices and asks, is there something on her face? When to which Naruto replies with a simple, no, I just thought your eyes looked really cool. Hinata's eyes open up and her face turns beet red as Naruto continues. The pearl color is really pretty and the Byakugan is pretty cool. She blurts out a loud, what? Before going back into a mumble saying the word pretty to herself, turning everyone's attention on the two, especially Neji, who walks over. Hinata, you should just drop out now. Hinata's reaction of fear forces her to keep her head down, unable to look Neji in the eye or respond. Hearing that and seeing Hinata trembling pisses Naruto off. He gets up in Neji's face. Where do you get off telling people to quit? To which Neji smiles. <laughs> the weak protecting the worthless. Listen, failure. I'm only trying to help her out. Those without talent aren't cut to make it in this world. If she continues, she'll die in a hole somewhere. Naruto grabs Neji's collar. Hinata's been working insanely hard. She's not so weak to need your kind of protection. Neji smacks Naruto's hand away, his smile gone. Hard work is nothing without skill. A rock can only be polished so many times, but at the end of the day, it's still just a useless pebble waiting to be thrown away or crushed. Neji walks back to his seat and Ibiki walks in the room and begins his test. They finish in the same way, but Naruto stops Hinata. You're stronger than that jerk. Don't let him boss you around. She then gives Naruto a hug to hide her tears, but immediately realize what she did and apologizes to, and tells Naruto, I'd never give up. That's my ninja way. They wish each other luck, then move on to the forest of death. When they make it inside, Sasuke pulls Naruto and Sakura in and goes over his plan. It's a free for all capture the flag. We have the heaven scroll. Sakura, you stay close to me. Naruto, you go looking for small fry ninja with the earth scroll. Once you find it, or you run into any trouble, spike your energy and we'll rush over to you. They all nod their heads. Naruto is excited to finally test his skills and, Naruto, and Sakura is happy just to be with Sasuke. Naruto closes his eyes and consents four ninja close to them. One is stronger than the others. The weak ones are insanely close, so he feigns like he has to take a piss and walks unassumingly into the bushes. He then body flickers behind the assailant to take him out with a smooth chop to the net. He's a rain ninja, okay. He checks his body and finds he doesn't have the scroll. Naruto then moves on to the other one, taking him out in the same way, but he didn't have the scroll either. He then gets to the last weak ninja. He does have, the, and he takes him out. He does have the earth scroll. He's about to head back to his team when he's swallowed by a giant snake as Orochimaru approaches Sasuke and swallows his earth scroll, challenging Sasuke to a fight to the death. Orochimaru then uses the genjutsu, oozing bloodlust, paralyzing Sakura and Sasuke making them envision their own death in countless ways. Stabbed through the heart, pierced through the head, arms severed, body pierced in more ways than you could count. But Sasuke quickly breaks out by stabbing himself in the leg and overcoming the fear with pain. But Sakura is still a mess. He has to protect her. Sasuke then grabs her and flies away to Orochimaru's amazement. These children, they can fly. What jutsu is this? I must have it. Orochimaru is salivating. Not only will he have the power of the Uchiha, but the freedom of flight. Sasuke holds Sakura behind a true trembling, fa still phased from watching himself die. Feeling this, Sakura wakes up and, com and comforts Sasuke, saying we have to find Naruto. As this is said, Naruto is calming himself. The whiskers on his face become frayed. Hey Fox, I'm going to borrow a bit of your power. Naruto opens his red eyes and channels Chakra channels red and blue chakra orbs as he takes a deep breath. Chakra key bomb! A dark purple orb forms around Naruto, putting the snake in immense pain. As Naruto yells, the orb expands, disintegrating the snake, not even leaving ash behind. 
clearing a perfect 10 meter orb around Naruto. He then rushes towards his team to give them the good news. As he does, he sees Orochimaru closing in on Sasuke and Sakura. He goes to his max speed, cutting off Orochimaru's approach, landing a hit on his jaw, sending him flying through trees, breaking a few of Orochimaru's ribs. Naruto then tells his team that he has the other scroll. Sasuke picks up Sakura, making her blush and making Naruto jealous. As they begin to leave, but Orochimaru reappears with another giant snake, trying to capture Sasuke, who freezes. But Naruto is quick to react. He jumps in front of the snake, kicking it in the chin, making it reel backwards in pain, and almost throwing Orochimaru off. Before he turns into a blur, appearing right above the head of the snake and Orochimaru. Chaka Key Burst, creating a small red orb exploding around Naruto, sending the snake hurtling toward the ground. And Naruto turns to Sasuke. What the hell is wrong with you? Snap out of it! We can do this, Sasuke! Sasuke looks frustrated at Naruto. Sasuke wants to yell, but damn it, he's right. He then takes his hand and squeezes his leg, making the deep wound ooze, make, causing him immense pain, but snapping him out of the daze and scaring Sakura. But this also makes her feel weak. Naruto, Naruto didn't even mention me. Sakura thinks this to herself as she grabs Sasuke's clothes, as she grabs Sasuke's clothing tighter and mutters to herself. Do I even matter to this team? Sasuke hears this, but for now he ignores it and responds to Naruto. Shut up, you loser! I don't need you to tell me that. Sasuke, I think it's time for a new move. I want to go down there and charge a key bomb. Hit me with some fire. Sasuke nods, and Orochimaru is starting to get up, and he's laughing. Speed and power. And those eyes. This boy has the fox demon inside of him. Very interesting. As he says this, Naruto appears in front of him. Orochimaru prepares the five-pronged seal to separate his to separate him from the fox's power, but he's cut off. Chakra Kiba! Orochimaru knows he can't touch this, so he rushes away. But the orb is expanding quickly. Scorch style! Heaven's blaze of glory! Sending a blue fire covering the orb. Covering the orb Naruto's producing and a superheated wave of blue-violet light. A blue-violet light and magma, turning everything in a 30-meter radius to ash. Everyone who's near the area flees in terror, but through the destruction, Orochimaru slips a snake in Sasuke's clothing and disappears without being noticed. Naruto looks up at Sasuke drained, but he gives a thumbs up. Sasuke flies down to Naruto and leans on his shoulder, and Naruto leans on his shoulder. He then carries both of them through the air to the tower, when they arrive, they see Team Guy. They see Team Guy, the Sound Ninja, and Team Kuranai. Hinata seeing Naruto's team runs over to them, offering some of her healing salve. As soon as all three gather together, Naruto, as soon as all three gather together, Goku, Vegeta, and Haku arrive right in front of them. Goku sees Naruto drained and offers them a sensu bean, as does Vegeta for Sasuke. Naruto refuses, opting to use Hinata's ointment, but Sasuke accepts. Goku then asks them, what happened to you guys? We sensed a huge sort of, we sensed a huge spike of energy and rushed over. And what's this place? As soon as he says this, Iruka Sensei arrives. Seeing him, Naruto jumps to hug his old teacher. Iruka rubs his head. It's good to see you too, Naruto. You've grown really strong. Naruto smiles as Iruka continues explaining the next part of the exam, to which Goku and Vegeta get excited for their students. A tournament, tournament huh? huh? They put their hands on each of their star pupil. Naruto, Sasuke, give, give us, us a, a good, good match. match. They move to the next area. All teachers are in the stands and the rules are explained. The first match begins. Sasuke Uchiha versus Yoyori Akado. Orochimaru is hiding in the stands under the guise of a sound ninja. Begin! The round starts. Yoyori throws three shuriken, but Sasuke easily deflects them in one swipe. But in that instant, he closed the distance. But Sasuke was expecting this. He dodges the swipe Yaori takes with his left hand and slips behind him, grabbing him by the collar, throwing him in the air. He then jumps right beside him before kicking him back down to the ground with a devastating lion's rage. Sasuke is the victor. Vegeta scoffs. <clears throat> Will anyone be a challenge? I wouldn't count some of these kids out yet, Vegeta. Keep watch. Nods when Haku cheers on Sasuke, but he yells back. Shut up, you clowns. That was nothing. But you, Naruto. You better not lose, because I want to fight you too. The two smile at each other with anticipation. 
Next round, Shino Aburami versus Zaku Abumi. Shino wins much the same way he does in anime. Konkuro versus Misumi. Goes the same. Sakura versus Ina. This one goes the same except Sakura is fighting far more savagely. Using her chakra, trying to prove herself to be a true member of Team 7. Which gathers Vegeta's attention. But it still ends in a tie. But only because Sakura ran out of chakra. Making her feel more down on herself. She could have won. She slams her fist in the ground. With tears in her eyes. Sasuke and Naruto jump down to her. Sasuke looks at her and says, How about instead of flirting and doubting yourself, you train with me and Naruto? This makes Sakura cry, still doubting that she can make a difference. Naruto sees how hurt she is. He swallows his pride and whispers in her ear, Sakura, during your match, Sasuke couldn't take his eyes off you. I think he likes real strong women. Naruto then forces a smile on his face, basically handing off his crush, trying to comfort her, but it worked. Sakura is filled with a new fi- is filled with a new will of fire and determination to get stronger, to prove herself to Team 7 and Sasuke. As she leaves in a stretcher, Naruto drops his smile and curses himself. Damn it! Guess I'm blowing it with Sakura, huh? The proctor speaks up. Next round, 10-10 versus Tamari, which is which is just a wash in Tamari's favor. You should watch that fight. Next, Shikamaru versus Ken. Shikamaru wins using his massive intellect. Now, Kiba versus Naruto. Both boys explode with energy and hop down. Naruto stares Kiba down. Sorry, Kiba, but I can't afford to lose here. Well, Kiba laughs. What can a loser like you hope to do? Akamaru, we got this one in the bag. They rush Naruto. Ninja art, man beast mimicry. This turns Akamaru into a feral Kiba. And they elbow Naruto in the gut, pushing him back. Naruto stands there after taking this hit. Kiba yells, we're not done. Fang over Fang. Barreling towards Naruto and burying him into a wall, creating an explosion of dust. Kiba laughs. What did I tell you? You couldn't even dodge that loud mouth. Naruto smiles while emerging from the smoke with barely a scratch, giving Kiba a determined stare. Don't you underestimate me. You don't get it, do you? I let you hit me, mutt mouth, to find out how it, to find out what you're made of. Now, Naruto gets down to the turn of Harmon stance, shocking every elite ninja who's watching. What's that Taijutsu stance? It doesn't leave any openings. It must be those two aliens Lord Third was talking about. Listen here, I'm the man who'll be the Hokage to bring peace to the ninja world. Kakashi and Lord Third smile. He really is his son. While Kiba growled, what makes you think a weakling like you will be Hokage? You know what? After I win this match, I'll be the one to hold that title. Fang over Fang. As the two get closer to, as the two get, as the two, as the two tunnel closer and closer to Naruto, he closes his eyes and holds his position. And as they're hair length from his body, he yells, chakra burst, creating a blue orb that explodes around Naruto, knocking back Kiba and Akamaru. Before they land, Naruto has two clones that have become a blur, pinning down, pinning them down. One is sitting on Akamaru's back, and the other one is holding Kiba's legs, while the original has his foot on Kiba's neck. Naruto looks at Kiba and says, If you try to come between me and the title of Kage, you'll whimper like a whipped dog. The victor is declared Naruto. He walks up to Haku and Hinata, Goku, Lee, and Sakura. They all say that was amazing, but Lee looks at Naruto. I'm sorry for doubting you. When this is over, Naruto, I want you to fight me. Neji looks over at Neji looks over and thinks to himself, Well, Lady Hinata, aren't you carefree? What about that boy makes failure so confident? Next match, Neji Huga versus Hinata. As they step down, Neji speaks up. Before we begin, Hinata, drop out. You aren't cut to be a shinobi. No, you're wrong. I am strong. Neji is growing frustrated. Face it. A failure is always a failure. She starts to back away. No, you're wrong. Neji activates his Byakugan and Hinata averts her eyes. Coward. Even now you're too soft to face me. You raise your arms in fear. And as I look at you, you wanna know what I see. You wanna know what I saw. I foresaw your defeat, Hinata. 
you're weak. And you can never change that. Seeing this and hearing this, Naruto explodes with anger. Yes, she can. Hinata, stop letting him talk down to you. I hate seeing you like this. Put that jerk in his place. He can't decide your future. No one can. Hinata focuses herself. Thank you, Naruto. She then turns to Neji. Older brother Neji, I won't run away anymore. Let's fight. They rush at each other. Their attacks are precise and deadly. They're matching each other blow for blow, but Hinata is gaining ground. Right before she's about to land a blow on Neji, he does a rotation which knocks her back and damages her elbow. But she doesn't slow down. She rushes back at him and jumps over his rotation. While she's above him, she yells, Rotation! Which Neji is shook. When, when did she learn this? The rotations collide, spinning in opposite directions, canceling each other out. Neji's off balance and she capitalizes on this moment, letting three hits, two to his collarbone, one to his neck, making Neji cough up blood, but he's not slowing down either. She lands behind him. They're standing back to back as they get in position for the ultimate gentle fist technique. They both yell, eight trigrams, 64 palms. They turn to face each other, matching each other blow for blow. Oh shit. Matching each other blow for blow. But as they get as they get to the end of the demonstration, he not to dodges Neji's last strike, catching him off guard. Eight trigrams, 64 palms defense, her own new jutsu she created. It's a direct hit, forcing Neji back and knocking off his headband, revealing his seal. Hinata pauses as she stares at it, while Neji is simply furious. Hinata, you can see it, right? This disgusting curse that makes me your dog. Hinata stares silently. What? Too ashamed to speak, Lady Hinata. Hinata takes a deep breath. No other brother. That curse is why I refuse to lose now. I'm going to prove myself to father and change the ways of the Hyuga. Neji laughs. And what? Does that just erase the pain? You don't know what your branch of the clan stole from me, Hinata. Hinata yells in retort. That's why the first thing I'm going to do is eliminate the branch system. I'm going to save the clan from itself. Neji's heard enough. He rushes at Hinata. She begins to prepare her attack, but she continues to yell. I worked hard to be a sister for Hinabi. I worked hard to break out of my shell, and I'm working hard to save you. Hearing that makes Neji hesitate but for an instant, and that instant was all Hinata needed. She moves at blinding speed and lands a full palm on Neji's chest, knocking him unconscious. I will save you, I promise. I won't run away anymore. I never go back on my word. That's my Nindo. My ninja way. End of chapter six. All right, all right, all right. You made it to the end. Chapter six, to confront destiny. So this one is going to be long, I imagine. It's a 10, I wrote 10 pages to this one. So I swear to God, the editing is going to make me go insane. But I hope I get it to you nice, safe, and sound. Um, I hope everybody out there is doing good. Times are getting a little crazier lately. Uh, second wave of COVID's coming up. So I just want to make sure everybody out there is keeping themselves and their family safe. Uh, it's been a lot. Uh, yeah, it's really been a lot. But other than that, on a happier note, I really do appreciate everybody watching this stuff. Again, I can't say my thank yous enough. Um, all of you are good. All of you are great, man. It, it really is amazing that people actually listen to this stuff and enjoy it. So I really hope that y'all continue to listen and enjoy. And don't think I forgot, I am still coming out with the uh, little synopsis of my story that I'm writing on. The title is Kinetics. Um, that's just a little tip to it. There are some characters on that I'm really fleshing out a little bit more. So I want you all to be able to get a really good grasp of how I'm going to portray these people so that it's not boring or uninteresting while I'm doing it because I am just going over like, you know, the background of the world, a uh, few little key aspects of the characters and a few key aspects of the main three villains that I want to push because they're really interesting to write for. Um, other than that, I don't think I have much to say. Oh, 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 wait, yeah, and the power system. I did a really interesting power system. You're going to compare it to something, obviously, because everybody I showed it so far compares it to this one, this one thing but I think that it's a little bit I think that's different enough. Not a little bit. It's very different. The way that it works and stuff. But other than that, I do want to say thank you all for staying out there and sticking with me. Thank you all for bearing with this What Is Story system. It's really fun to write for and really fun to record. It's annoying as hell to edit, though. 
That's why to answer the one question I got by a man named Jordan Wilson, I should make a uh, question if I can make longer videos like Dr. Kyle or Kahu. I don't actually know how to say his name, but I think it's Kyle. I gotta be honest, I don't know, man. The editing scares me. That man makes hour long videos. <laughs> that man's insane. <laughs> I don't know how he does it. Like, just going through editing the audio is annoying, but letting the video render, that's the scary part, man. <laughs> I can't lie. But other than that, let me get out of here. Uh, I hope you all have an amazing day. Like, comment, and subscribe. Watch The King, Onokage, out. There's no